Don't mind me, it's about 2 in the afternoon, I just woke up and I'm having some breakfast. The funny part is, you probably think I'm joking. I'm not. So before I started recording, I was like, maybe I should put on some makeup. And then I remembered, I don't know how to work this camera and everything looks washed out and blurry anyways, so... I ain't gotta worry about that. Alright, you clicked on the title for a reason, it's to hear my story, so I'm a teller now. A 30 year old man try to flirt with me. So this would be a boring story to just like tell, so I'm gonna have like some uh... cutaways, if you will. I gotta find my phone because that's where I put how I wanted this to go. Ah oh, man. Got it. So, if you didn't hear it in my last video, I went to the beach with my best friend, Maria, like, last week or something. I don't know what day it is. It's summer. <laughs> While we were at the beach, we went to this little carnival ride thing. Like, carnival. Carnival. Now, this wasn't the first time we had been at this carnival. We had actually gone a few days before, and we were just coming back because we were walking around the area again. So, we get on the ride, which is called Rock and Roll. We're getting strapped in or whatever, and the guy is like... Welcome to the ride. And we're like, yeah, thanks. And then he asked me, what grade are you in? I didn't think anything of it because I'm always being asked what grade I'm in. You know, it's just like, I don't, I don't know, it's a question. So I was like, oh, I'm about to be a freshman in college. He goes, oh, nice, where? And I say, GTCC. And he goes, oh, you're from Greensboro. Yeah, I'm from Winston. And so I was just like, oh, cool, because, you know, I really don't care where you're from, but, you know. Nice information. So I walked away to go strap up the other people who are on the ride, and then Maria says to me, she's like, he didn't ask me where I was going or, you know, what grade I was in. And, you know, she was playing around, but she was like, that hurt my feelings or whatever. She wasn't being, like, super serious, you know, she wasn't actually about to cry on this ride, you know? But she was like, you know, oh, he didn't ask me. I was like, LMAO, <laughs> That's because I look like a 12-year-old. Everybody asks me what grade I'm in. They're just curious because they're like, what? what? So he comes back, and Maria brings it up to him. She's like, you didn't ask me where I was going, I'm hurt. And he goes, sorry, well, I've had girls get on this ride that look like they're in college, but they're actually freshmen in high school. And so I thought he was done at that point, and so I was like, see, I told you. But then he continued, and he said, you gotta ask what grade they're in before you flirt with them. And I was a little, like, disturbed. I was like, um, hmm? But then Maria was laughing it off, and you know, he kind of like did a little chuckle thing, so I was like, okay, maybe they're just joking, you know, I'm not going to think anything of it, I'm just going to like, I'm going to laugh along, <laughs> you know, it's just a joke, he's just playing around, you know. So then he goes to start the ride. Right as he's about to start it, like he's walking away, I'm like, oh shoot, I still have my phone, because it was in my back pocket, and I had like realized it at that moment, I don't know, I don't know, don't, don't worry about it. So then I decided to ask him if he would hold it for me just for the ride. So I was like, oh, can you hold my phone? And he's like, yeah, sure. So we put it in his pocket and then we continued to the ride, which was really fun and really nice. Maria doesn't like it, but I do. So then we get off and Maria's like, oh, don't forget your phone. Well, I go and I ask him, I'm like, can I get my phone? And he's like, oh yeah, here, sure. And he pulls it out of his pocket and he hands it to me. As he was handing it to me, he goes, I was going to try to get your number out of it. Excuse me? You was trying to get the 12 year olds, huh? So like at this point I realized like, oh, he was serious about the flirting, but I didn't want to like acknowledge it, so I just kept laughing it off and I was just like, ha ha ha, nah. <laughs> but I did it kind of quiet though because I didn't like want him to hear it because I don't know. So I kind of was like behind while Maria kept walking because I was getting my phone. So then I walked up to her and I'm like, that was really creepy, but I don't dread on it. And we go to the next ride and... Keep in mind, this other ride was all the way across. Like, literally, that was at the back of the carnival, and this one is at the very front. We went to the ride all the way across the carnival. So we get on the second ride. We're just going back to chilling, having a nice time. It's, it's good. So we're riding the ride, having a good time, and then as it slows down, Maria looks over there, and she's like, Madison, he's at the ride. And I'm like, no, you're joking. She's like, no, look, he's with that guy. That guy was the guy who was running this ride. And I was like, no, that's that's not the same guy. And she goes, yeah, it is. And I'm like, oh my god. And I got, like, kind of scared, to be honest. And I was like, Maria, I really don't want to get off the ride. Like, So, like, you know, I'm kind of laughing with her, you know, like, haha, I'm scared. Oh my god, this is creepy. But at the same time, I'm, like, so serious. So when the ride stops, finally, like, when it, like, actually is, like, slowing down to stop, I noticed that there's, you know, the two doors and the exit's over here. And he and the guy who's running the ride are at the entrance, which is over here. So they were good, like, ten feet apart. So, I freaking spell walk out of there. Like, I hopped out that ride, and I was zoom. Like, Maria was on the outside of the ride, so she got out first, but I left the ride first. 
I was out. I got a little ways away from the ride and then I turned around to see like where Maria was and I kind of wanted to make sure like he wasn't there. I cannot tell you the fear that was in me when I turned around. I was like, this dude behind me, oh my god. But it was just Maria. She was a few feet away from me. So I'm like, oh thank god. So he stayed over there with the other guy talking and then we left. So, okay. So like maybe he didn't go to that ride for us or for me or whatever, but it was kind of odd that he went all the way across the carnival specifically at the ride that we were at, so that was kind of weird, you know? And again, maybe he could have just been talking to the guy, maybe he had to tell him something or like that's his buddy, but after him asking for my number and joking around about flirting, maybe not joking, it was really weird and I just did not want to be around him. I know he didn't like harass me or touch me or make sexual like jokes or anything, but <laughs> I looked 12 and it wasn't like I was wearing anything like provocative or something, you know, like, oh yeah, she looks older. I was not wearing nothing, like, you know, like this. I wasn't even wearing a tank top. I was wearing shorts and a t-shirt. I know he asked my age and stuff, so like, at least he wasn't just like trying to hit on little kids, but like, he asked like, <laughs> he asked my age and like what school I was going to and everything. So I mean, whatever, but this dude looked like he was at least 27. I mean, he already had like gray hairs. So like my immediate thought was like he was 30, but like maybe he could be younger, but like I wouldn't go like too young. He had gray hair. <laughs> he was older. It wasn't like, you know, this teenage dude, you know, how- Ah, uh, yeah, carnival. No, he was like, <laughs> Like, <laughs> this dude for real was kinda old. <laughs> I'm 17. 30 and 17, that's still a big age difference. I don't care, like, no. It was still very disgusting. And I know I did not make it obvious that I was, like, turning down the flirting. Like, like I said, when I was, like, laughing, like, haha, nah, I said it quiet. But that's honestly because I was so afraid if I said something, like, if I made it obvious that I was not interested, that, like, something would happen. And I think that'll make more sense for, like, the girls watching the video rather than the guys watching the video. So that's exactly what happened. There was no exaggeration or anything. And I'm sorry if it wasn't hype as you wanted it to be. You wanted to, you know, oh yeah, he grabbed your butt, you know? Nah, it wasn't nothing like that. But it was still really weird for me. But yeah. You didn't see that. That's it. Sorry if you expected more. Sorry if I could not give you more. I'm being honest, that's what happened. I didn't want to like over-exaggerate and make it sound crazy because that's not what happened, but you know, whatever. I just thought I would share. I'm sure y'all have had something like that happen to you because to be honest, it doesn't seem uncommon, but that's the like the first time it's actually happened to me, so it was really weird and I did not like it. <laughs> just do your job. Stop trying to ask little girls how old they are and try to flirt with them, please. Just do your job. I hope you enjoyed watching. I'll see you guys later. I do a lot of hand movements. That's it, I'm out. Mm. When you thinking, damn, what is this? That's us. Make it speak as bam when it hits like. Hello.